Hello and welcome to another video. I am so excited about this video. I am excited because it has been a while since a subscription box. At least it feels like it's been a while since a subscription box. And the subscription box that we are unboxing is the bi-monthly um, wizarding trunk subscription box. And the theme for this box, as you might notice from my background, I changed it up just a bit. Don't know what we're doing there, but we've got some kind of like herbology representation over here. Little McGonagall Patronus. We've got some candles, some spine candles. We have a little Dumbledore representation, a little bit of Hagrid and magical creatures, some Trelawney divination uh, representation, and a little bit of potions. Um, no defense against the dark arts, but if you haven't guessed it, the theme for this box is professors and i and and <laughs> i am so excited for it i just i've missed subscription boxes i love them so much and i really feel that the quality of the wizarding tr trunk boxes is incredible um i mean we'll see on this one it is a hefty one um so let's take a look at the box to start so they their box has a basic kind of look to it that they stick to and then they change out um little bits to kind of give some hints for us so this is the front of the box here and what i'm thinking okay i think so we've got a tarot card here i'm gonna guess that's the trelawney divination representation this okay <laughs> My husband and I were looking at it and we were like, you know, he was trying to figure out, is it like a, a drop of something? Is it a like, is it an egg? And I looked at it and I'm like, I think it's a sherbet lemon drop. I think it's supposed to be representing Dumbledore, which is not really a class representation of any kind, but it doesn't have to be. It's just professors, it's not classes. Um, and then I don't think there's anything over here. That's just a book that says magic. The front here, I mean... That's gotta be McGonagall. We've got a black cat right there, adorbs. There is a um, subtle hand and it's got some kind of lines and numbers through it. So that's an another divination representation. And then back here we have pure blood apothecary. So we have some potions uh, representation. And I mean, others that I think of, well, hold on, let's take a little peek inside because there's normally something here so we have a little white feather. So I am thinking Professor Flitwick for that one. And the Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> um, I don't see anything for like Lupin. Lupin's a professor. Um, technically Hagrid was a professor of magical creatures. So we'll see if we see that. That's why I have Hagrid representation. So, oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's get going. Let's open this up. So let me give you a peek for starters. Da, 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 da. Ooh, we have lots of like cardboardy businesses. Okay, I like that. Um, one of them is a little dinged up, so hopefully it's okay. And first up, I think is a shirt. So let's do shirts. I will say, as far as shirts go, I mean, as far as clothing goes, if you haven't noticed, I tend to stick to like black and gray and cream and natural colors and just kind of classic colors. And I will see right now, or I will say that this one is beige, which is my color. So let's see who this is supposed to represent, what professor, um, and it is very soft. So I am picky about designs, but let's take a look, see. We have, oh, that's sweet. So the corner here, I think there's something on the back. The corner here, actually let's do the back first because that's so small. What does the back look like? groundskeeper's assistant that is pretty cute here is the back of the shirt groundskeeper's assistant so obviously haggard on this one we're getting a lot of white in this frame but this is a cream so you can really see between that and my sweater um what the difference in color is really really soft t-shirt i like like i need soft things um i may <laughs> boy sensitive person i was gonna say something else <laughs> a sensual person is what I was gonna say and then here is the corner and that one also said groundkeeper's assistant I really like that I really like that design we've got the keys we've got um, like a castle um, we've got the glove 
So do you see the glove right here? So we got a little dragon representation, a little dragon as a creature. So there we go. So there is a shirt. And let me see, I'm seeing some pins, but mostly a lot of boxes. I like boxes because <laughs> I don't know what's in them and it's exciting times. Um, let's do a pin. Here's the back of this pin. What is the front? You tell me. What have we got? I can't tell. Dueling champion. Oh, then this has got to be Lupin, I'm thinking. That's my guess. I mean, not Lupin. Um, yeah, I do not know why. Okay, first off, not Lupin. Um, definitely Lockhart. And for some reason, maybe because it's such a brief stay for him. <laughs> um, I totally forgot he was a professor. Like, I think of the main professors, McGonagall. Um, I mean, even Dumbledore's a professor, was a professor. So there we go. It is the dueling champion pin. There it is. I see another pin. I don't see what it is. So let's take a pin break. Let's put a pin in it, okay? What do we do? Um, we have a lot of cardboard boxes. Let's go with this cardboard box. I'm, it's open. Something's alive in here. <laughs> and uh, nothing on it. I'm feeling, it's very light. I'm feeling potions. I'm very curious. Oh, I didn't see that. On the um, corner here, it's got a mandrake little label there. So what is, let's see what's in this box. What are you? That feels, oh, it is a potion of some kind. It's a bottle. What have we got? It looks like a vial. Let me unwrap it real quick. Okay, so what we have here is a vial and it says, Ogden, September 1925. Let me kind of show you in the whole vial first. So I think um, Wizarding Trunk has used kind of a similar pattern, which is nice. It would go well with other ones. It is actually my first vial. And I had to check my mental pensive here on who is Ogden. Ogden is um, a reference to Bob Ogden, which was in the Half-Blood Prince. Bob Ogden worked for the Department of um, Magical Law Enforcement, I believe. And this was the vial that helped reveal information about the Horcrux ring uh, for Dumbledore. So I think this would be kind of like a Dumbledore tie, which is really interesting. It's really reaching um, further out. So we are, you know, because we can get some very obvious things. And Wizarding Trunk is kind of going a little, expanding a bit more, I think, with this one. I'm going to do the book cover. I think I see a book cover. I don't get as excited by book covers as others do. But I did really like the last one. It feels like there's two items in here. What have we got here? Wait a minute. Are these multiple items? Multiple book covers? <gasps> it's the history of magic. Oh, that's really sweet. That's very interesting. I love the way the book pages are done. Um, this inside here is done. So here's the full uh, book cover. And it is the history of magic there. And of course we have the Mina Lima history of magic, which I actually don't think I have. I have a few of the uh, journals by Mina Lima. I'm not sure if I have the history of magic and I need to double check what size book this fits. Um, but there it is. And it has, you know, he's done his own take on it, which I really, really like, but still kept the kind of color palette and similar colors that the history of magic has. So there is the first one. Oh, I love the dragons on there. And this one's reading like very mappy. What are you? I love maps. Oh, I really like this. I really like this. This is because it's rolled up right now. It's going to be a little hard to show. Mappa Stellarium. Hold on. Let me unroll it for you. I feel like Okay, actually, yeah, let me show it to you. So here it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we've got like this kind of like, but it's not really a map. I mean, it is a map, but this is an astrological map. So this is clearly representing like astronomy. Um, and I'm like totally blanking on the astronomy teacher. I was just looking them up um, because we only get a little bit of reference to the astronomy teacher. I forget her name. Let me double check. Um, actually, let me show you just a touch more because the corners are really cool. There's the top right there. Oh, 
I love blowing on blowing the wind there. And so here's a little bit of the detail. So much detail in these, as always. Really, really like this. And there's kind of like the full effect. Definitely a color palette I love. And it's like those colors that you would expect of a map. But yet it's astronomy. That is so detailed. I feel like I can look at this for quite a while. Um, yeah, I'm seeing like, well, not quite Sagittarius. Because these are very mythical creatures. I really like that. That's like, that's really frameable. What else have we? I see some more paper products on the bottom, but we have a lot of boxes. Let's move this on. Oh, that's a heavy one. I'm gonna go with this green one here, which is also heavy. And again, not a lot of like labeling going on. <gasps> I see I see the outside of one box and it definitely reads one particular person. I immediately think like herbology with green. So let's see what we have in here. Ooh, what is this? I do not know. What are you? Oh, that is cute. That is cute. We have, I should have picked up on that, a miniature Professor Slughorn Hourglass. Very, very cute. I will admit it's a touch, um, a touch cartoony to me, the snakes. Um, and, uh, and actually I don't here, let me show you the base first. Here's the bottom and then the front, nice green sand. <laughs> and it's a nice like size, like, um, as a smaller size that you're going to do, but the snakes, you could see what I mean, like just a little cartoony, just a different, but a different take. Uh, so there you go. I don't know where I would put this. I do not yet have the noble collection slughorn hourglass um but i am definitely gonna get it because it's absolutely gorgeous um but just to have more slughorn representation this does the trick for sure and i have not seen another um subscription box do uh the replica like that of the slughorn hourglass so there you go not at all herbology okay okay i'm gonna save the one that i see let's do this box right here let me get it started first. Oh God, I have missed unboxing these things. Okay, we have a styrofoam. So theoretically something breakable. It's feeling like a little base, like there's a stand to this. Is this like a figure maybe? This is a figure. <gasps> what are you? Oh my God. Okay, they, was it Wizarding Trunk that did this figure? That was absolutely stunning. Please correct me. <laughs> I'm going to go get it. I'm pretty sure it was Wizarding Trunk that did this one here in our previous box that I absolutely love. And this one is done in a very similar fashion and I really like it. Here's a little like, let me open it. So like I said, we have a similar item to the fountain that we got from Wizarding Trunk that is absolutely amazing. And with this one, we have a centaur statue so there's like some grass there and if you see on the bottom it says mars is bright tonight and i don't know if you recall the scene where hagrid um ron hermione went into the forbidden forest and met ronin the centaur and hagrid i think it was asked him like if anything has been going on and he said mars is bright tonight very very cool really fits well with the other one. I wonder if this is gonna like end up being a series that they do. Here it is up close, Ronin the Centaur. Cinder. And then you got that nice grassy touch. And then you've got the Mars is Bright tonight on the very bottom. So cute. Um, I'm feeling like, okay, let's do this one. Unlocking magic. I would imagine a key. What are we unlocking? Maybe that's going to be the key. We have got, this is gorgeous. It's the restricted section key. Oh my God. That is beautiful. I do love books. I work for a library. I mean, we all who, you know, anybody that got into Harry Potter through books, we love us some books. Okay. Here it is kind of from afar because we got a little bit of a charm over here. Let me pull it out for you. Look at the books on this key. We've got them right up here. 
Look at that gorgeous detail. I really like this. I really like the gold choice on this one or a bronzy color. There it is up close. Really pretty. And here is our little charm, which appears to be like the lantern that was used in the restric restricted section. Yeah, so I do not know what professor would be tied to the restriction, well, like what professor would be connected with the restricted section. I don't really know, because uh, this does seem to be referencing, the lantern does seem to be referencing the lantern that Harry used in the restricted section. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below um, who you think this key is referencing, but it is a very beautiful key. Let me put this away. Okay, I'm also having a thought that it might be McGonagall because she had given Harry permission to go into the restricted section for the Triwizard Tournament. Yeah, this, I feel like this box is giving a lot more um, book references than just the movies, which is really cool. And also a reminder that I need to like reread again and again and again, but I don't need that reminder. I love those books and I can't get this thing back in. So we're just gonna set it aside. So that is really cool. It's kind of like the vial, like really um, pulling in or just expanding out a lot more in thought process on how things are connected. This one is heavy. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, I know I said I've missed this, but I really, really missed this. I think I'm opening this upside down, so let's open it this way. Oh, very interesting. Oh, something is moving around and bubbling and it's freaking me out. It is, that is creepy. I am creeped. Do I want to pull this out? Oh God. Okay, this is obviously gotta be a potions reference. I weirdly don't even wanna touch it. <laughs> Let me show you why. Um, it's creeping me out. Look at this, look at this. It is puffer fish eyeballs, people. Eyeballs. But you can see the bubbles like moving around in there. Like that's creepy. I mean, eyeballs in a jar are creepy. So I guess that means they nailed it, okay? <laughs> creep me out much and it does say pure blood apothecary on the top there look at this again i mean label is gorgeous um okay i'm gonna set that down <laughs> keep it far away from me <laughs> it did its job this is the box that i saw and i was like well i think i know who this belongs to who do you think <laughs> we have a giant eyeball um on oh and they look different ways so this eyeball is looking at you and this one is not that's creepy isn't that creepy gotta be a mad eye moody reference right what does it say here dr grendel's enchanted prosthetics if this is an eyeball like the eyeball attachment i haven't seen anybody do that and i've wanted somebody to do that because like people want cosplay items people want to use these items like we also want to display items we want all of the above items right you know what i'm saying is it or is it just an eyeball like i think we got enough eyeballs over there but this is i'm down for this eyeball i never thought i would say that on camera or at all what have we got it is an eyeball <laughs> it is an eyeball not creepy at all not creepy at all so we have does it move um and it looks like it's adhesive so let me show it to you there is the eyeball there it is from the side quite hefty and it's got a 3m thing here so it looks adhesive so if you wanted to stick it and just creep people out you could do that um i will say it doesn't really um something about it just doesn't really read eyeball to me i mean it obviously is but like I feel like maybe that could be larger. What I really wish of it, unless I'm wrong, is that it were an actual ball and you can move it and turn the eye in different ways and then it still be adhesive. That's the only thing I would add to this one, really. It's just being like, come on, like can we like create people out more? We already have an eyeball, but we already know his moves. So I would have liked to see that move. Um, would be my only thing. So let's put that away. And we have one last box and a pin and some paper products. I think we're gonna do the pin next. Let's close this up. Oh, she's a hefty pin. Okay, I can tell you right now, hefty pins I don't generally wear. Um, but there are more places I'm looking to put pins that are not a pin board. I do not have a pin board yet. So it's got this regular wizarding trunk back. I'm gonna look at it first. 
Oh, I think, I mean, it's, it feels pretty obvious who it's meant to reference. It is another portrait pin. I have like mixed feelings on the portrait pins. I love the frames. So this one, the frame is different. It is like more of a coppery color and I would have to assume that this is meant to represent Professor McGonagall because we've got that nice green outfit. We've got the hair pulled back. I mean, she's an older lady. Um, just the, the, the poofy arms. It's got all the McGonagall vibes. I think the reason that I hesitate sometimes on the portraits is I just like the actors a lot who played them and I, they're like my vision. So I do enjoy very much different takes on them. Um, and I like this one. I like this one. I don't know if I love the copper. I think I would have done different, but that's just me. So there we go. We have two pins and one last box. So we've got this square box that just got heck of bright right there. Um, what do we have? Okay, we have another plate. <laughs> we have another, I was wondering if Umbridge would be in here. She was obviously a professor. We have another kitty plate. Look, I'm not gonna tire of these. I'm not gonna tire. And you know what I like about this one? Oh, I like that it's got like a ripply edge um, because I feel, okay, I feel like the reason I'm not gonna tire of these plates, first of all, I have three cats, so it's only fair that I have three of them, um, three different plates. And I have one from the last one. Um, so we need more and Hermione, my cat is the largest cat and this is a bigger plate. So that would work really well. But also like Umbridge's office is filled with plates. So you just cannot have one, just like you cannot have one cat. Okay. So here it is. And although there is one cat on this plate, the last one, there were two, but that gives variation. So there is the plate up close and you can see what I mean about like the ripple, which is really nice. I like that the plate has something a little different about it in physicality form um, because that's the case on Umbridge's wall as well. Those eyeballs are creeping me out. And the reason they are is not only their eyeballs, but it's the bubbles. It's the bubbles in between. <laughs> Let me know if you got this box, if that creeps you out. And I like creepy things. Okay, I do. All right, what have we got? We have some, I think we were meant to get um, one from our past box. This is the page. Uh, and I don't know which one it was that was supposed to be in the last box um, because they had kind of an issue with um, them like water damage. And the first one, it's the Magical Creatures pages, is a unicorn. And it, here's the bottom of it. Looks like that. And here's the back. Got a different creature. And then the other page is a manticore right there and a mer person i don't have any of the other pages so um i don't have the ability to put them all together but i'm not sure i what i would use these for are like photos <laughs> like um and also just filling up a space as if it's lived in that's what i would use them for there's so many uses for things okay we have a postcard that says for a small fee a school cupid will sing to your Valentine when delivering. <laughs> Very uh, um, timely. Be mine. And we've got little teacups. Um, I mean, a teacup immediately makes me think tree lawny. So yeah, we've got that. Let's just kind of go over everything. I think that's the last bit in the box. We have the History of Magic book cover, which is right here. Um, the centaur statue. The statue depicts one of the creatures that have mastered the art of divination. Kitten plate, um, I'm not gonna read everything in entirety, that was very obviously on bridge. Creature page, hourglass, um, we know that that was slughorn. Puffer fish eyes, I have to read this one. Eyes of the puffer fish are an essential ingredient in potion making when brewing up a solution for swelling. Oh my God, or just feeling really disturbed. Um, portrait pin, a brave and courageous professor, um, magical eye, while we hope that you may never have a need for a magical eye, this could also come in handy. Stuck to a door if you're looking to do a bit of spying like one of its last owners. Okay, I dig that. Um, restricted section key. Doesn't really say anything more there. Um, star chart. So again, it's, it is mentioning the astrology. Um, professor, Valentine postcard. This, okay, fill out this postcard. I'm trying to see like who, what professor 
and give it back to your professor if you would like one of his Valentine cupids to deliver and sing it to your Valentine. So it's just meant to be given to a professor, which I suppose is very fitting because as I'm recording this, Valentine's is tomorrow. Um, so I think as far as like my favorite item, I, I love to kind of cover favorites would have to be, let's see, I like the map a lot. I like the astrology map a lot. I like the centaur a lot, but I also connect with it um, through the Forbidden Forest. And I will just say, I got to the section in Hogwarts Legacy where I got to be in the Forbidden Forest and it's magical and creepy. Um, it's it's both, uh, very strongly both. I'm not, I'm not completely sold on the hourglass, but that's more because I really want the big one. Um, and I don't tend, no, that's not true. I was going to say I don't tend to do multiples. That's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, and I did like the shirt. It's super soft. I don't know that I have, I'm looking over at my shirts, any Hagrid representation just yet. And I love, love, love magical creatures. I love the creatures. So I really dug that. Um, so there you go. That is the Professor's bi-monthly wizarding trunk box. I'm pretty pleased with it. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it, if you got it yourself, and what was your favorite item. And remember, my magical friends, to love what you love with every single thing that you have in your body. Okay, and keep making magic. And I'll see you next time. Bye.